the Cardinals were one of the teams that failed to acquire Giancarlo Stanton, as they were not on his approved list of destinations. Their talks with the Marlins about bringing in an outfielder won't be for nothing. Though, as Ken Rosenthal reports that the two teams are making progress on a deal that would send Marcelo Zuna to the Cardinals. According to Sirius Ohm's Craig Mish, the Ozuna deal is now done. MLB's Jesse Sanchez reports the deal is awaiting the result of physicals. Joel Sherman reports that the big return in the trade, relatively speaking, is Sandy Alcantara, who will be 22 in 2018 and had a 4-31 era in AA before getting rocked in the majors in eight relief innings. Alcantara has his fans, but this is not inspiring considering what Ozuna has to offer. The other prospects in the deal include Main Yoris Sierra, a St. Louis's sixth-ranked prospect, RHP Zach Gallen, and LHP Daniel Castano. Gallen was drafted in the third round last season, while Castano was a 19th rounder. At this juncture, the Cardinals came out okay, if not far better. In this trade, Ozuna is in his second season of arbitration eligibility and won't be a free agent until the 2020 season. He made $3.5 million in 2017, and is due for a raise after making the All-Star team and then winning both a Silver Slugger and a Gold Glove. But in the grand scheme of contracts the Marlins are going to be dealing, moving his won't make much of a dent. There is little point in Miami holding on to the 27-year-old. However, considering they're gutting the team to start over, as he won't be around the next time they're any good. The Marlins